Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our devotion this morning comes from Matthew, the fourth chapter. Matthew, the fourth chapter. And it says, man should not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceededs out of the mouth of the Lord. Let's bow our heads. Our Father God, Lord, we thank you for your word today. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to see a new day. God, we thank you for giving us one more opportunity to get right with you. Now, Lord, as we open your word, I pray that you would fill us with wisdom, fill us with knowledge, and fill us with power to go throughout this day. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Man should not live on bread alone. Brothers and sisters, many times when we get sick, whether it's a cold or a flu or even a debilitating illness, and you go into the doctor, one of the first questions they will ask you is, what is your diet like? Meaning, what are you eating? And as you, as you tell them and they run blood and they take tests, they may say, well, you know, listen, you are iron deficient or you, are, you need some more protein or you need some of this, or you need some grains or you need some of that. They will, they will tell you what from your diet is missing. Because folks, in order for us to be healthy, we need to have a balanced diet. And when it says, when we turn to the spiritual aspect, God says, listen, too often you are trying to live on bread alone. Don't get me wrong, bread is needed for our diet. What is bread alone? And bread alone can be uh, my only spirituality is hearing somebody else preach or hearing somebody else give a Bible study lesson. But God says, no, 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 no. You need to feast on my word yourself. You need some meat. Oh, yes, folks. Going to church is great, Lord. And, 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 and studying together is great. And listening to an uplifting gospel song is great. And, and doing all these things are great. But God says those alone are not enough. You can do all those things and still be spiritually deficient because you're not getting all you need because God says, listen, you need to feast on my word. You need to hear my voice for yourself. Your whole walk cannot be secondhand. So you need to listen to the words come from my mouth. You need to listen. And pray and open your word so that I can feed you, that I can speak to you, that you can rely on my word because a man should not live on bread alone. Folks, there are many longtime Christians that are living on bread alone. There are many regular church attenders that live on bread alone. There are many people that are uh, second, third, fourth generation followers of Christ that are living on bread alone. And oh yeah, you're getting some great stuff, but you are still deficient because God says, listen, you need to hear my word for yourself. You need to study my word for yourself. You need to pray and talk to me uh, uh, yourselves. You need to have an intimate relation with me for yourself. I want to speak to you directly. Man should not live on bread alone. And folks, listen, I'm sure many of us know that, 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 that if we consist of bread alone in our, in our regular diet, oh yeah, that may get us through the day. That may get us through the week. But when you need to expend some real energy, when you are going through trials, that may not be enough. When you are running a marathon or running a race, bread alone may not be enough. And folks, listen, that little second-hand relationship we, many of us have, that may work for a while. But when the real trial comes, that will not be enough. We will need to be able to hear the Lord for ourselves. We're going to need, we're going to, need to be able to study for ourselves. We're going to be able to know the God for ourselves because that is what will keep us when the trying time comes. Folks, stop having an improper spiritual diet an unbalanced spiritual diet. But let us feast on all of the word of God. Father God, Lord, we thank you. And God, we simply ask this morning that in our walk with you, we will be spiritually balanced, Lord. That we will know you for ourselves and that we will learn to feast on your words. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.